We're going to look at AW Stats, a very popular free server administration tool found in cPanel. AW Stats stands for Advanced Web Statistics. It's a powerful and flexible log analyzer. It has comprehensive and easy to use statistical reports. And it has a wide variety of reporting features. Let's take a look at it. We're first going to log in to the cPanel on the server side of our website. Come down to the Logs area and select AW Stats. And then select your domain. We have a wide variety of information to look at back here. And the first thing that we want to make note of is the date. Now, because the month of December is not complete, I'm going to set it to an earlier month. I like the activity around May and June, so that's what I'll take for the purposes of this demonstration and then you click on OK. So you always want to be mindful of the period that you're looking at. At first glance we can see unique visitors, we can see total number of visits, page visits, hits, and bandwidth. Hits is almost irrelevant because each time a page loads every element on that page counts as a hit so that's not very useful information for us. Unique visitors Unique visitors is important. A lot of times that'll be called new visitors, whereas this would represent the total number of visits. So you'll have duplications in that number. We should be aware, though, when looking at unique visitors, that any time a person clears the cookies on their browser, they will be considered a unique visitor the next time they come back. So it doesn't represent a factual number of unique visitors but it does give us a decent representation so I think it's important that when we're looking at month-to-month -month comparisons that we look at this number as a trend more than as an absolute value the first thing that we look at down here is our monthly history and again this can show us some nice trends of what's happening over month to month now I'm paying the most attention to these bars representing my visitors, both the orange and the yellow, and my pages. And I'm looking at these as the high times, obviously a lower spell here from July to September, a bit of a pickup here in October and November, and then the month of December is not complete, so it makes sense that this is not, uh, that this is not propagated yet. We can next look at the days of the month and the kind of traffic that we get. At first glance we see a big spike here on the first of the month and it might be hard to see but you'll notice that Saturday and Sunday are slightly shaded both here in the graphical form and also down here on the table. So we see another spike here on a Friday, a spike here on a Monday, but it, it can be interesting to see especially if you're looking for something like uh, paid ad campaigns that may have been going on during this period or email campaigns that may have been sent out. We can also look at the days of the week that are the most popular. Again here we see that Thursday, Friday, Saturday seem to be the really strong days for this particular website. And we can also look at hours of day that are the most popular. Not surprising that the early morning hours are, have very few visits but around 9 a.m. we start to see traffic slowing down around 11 and 12, peaking around 1 o'clock, slowing down during the afternoon, and then picking up again from around 7 to 10 o'clock at night. This can be important information for knowing what time of day we might like our email campaigns to be sent out. We can also see where our visitors are coming from by looking at the countries. Now this may be an anomaly. I don't know why France would come up as, as number one because this particular website only does business in the United States, Canada, Mexico, and Australia. To see if it's an anomaly, we may want to go back, click on Summary, and let's just change our date to another month. And then we can come back down to Countries by clicking over here on the left navigation menu and now we see that the United States is overwhelmingly the highest number of visitors so there was some kind of an anomaly in the month of June
if we did want to check for other countries that we did business in that are not showing up in the top 25 we can always click on the full list and see an entire list of visitors from other countries that we've had next thing we can look at is what they call hosts which is really the IP addresses of your most frequent visitors here I think it's important to look for the IP addresses of people that work in your office or your web developers that would be frequently visiting the website and don't represent your true customers if you don't know your IP addresses there are many services like myipaddress.com which will show you your IP address and you can isolate those numbers so for instance if we discovered that this belonged to a web developer we know that all these pages and, and, and hits don't represent a customer but rather people working on the website and again we can see all of the IP addresses by clicking full list robots and spiders will show us the last time that the website has been crawled by Google or Yahoo or Bing another number that we can see is the amount of time that our visitors spend on the website now this particular website requires a login so the home page is the only page that a person has access to unless they have a username and password so we can see that we have a very high number of hits in the 0 to 30 seconds because people coming without login credentials wouldn't be able to go any further and therefore the bounce rate as you would expect would be very high one thing that we do note on this website is that there is an unusually high number of visits that are over 30 minutes it's not surprising for this particular site because there's many coaching and training videos on this site which may cause a person to stay longer than the average website visit file type has more to do with the types of files that you have on each one of your pages and how often they're being loaded they don't really give us any information about our visitors downloads however does we can see how often this particular video has been watched this particular PDF file has been downloaded here's another video amongst our top downloads another PDF another video and more PDFs now another thing is if you're ever uncertain about what a particular video was or a particular PDF was because the naming convention isn't clear you can just click on it and it'll show you what the file was the same is true of the videos the top 25 page URLs will show you which pages are most frequently visited and it can also show you the entry and exit pages you can also again see the full list you don't have to just see the top 10 that they give you here one thing you might note is that is that depending on the type of website you've built you'll often see pages that are really only being accessed by your web developers in this case being a Joomla website you'll see the word administrator as a part of the path or you might see particular components that are being called for the operation of the website we're obviously more interested in the pages that our visitors are clicking again you can click on a link if you want to see exactly where on your website that's bringing you in this case it's bringing you to a login screen you'll probably find a tool like Google Analytics giving you better specific information than AW stats in this particular case another item that's very important to make note of is the operating system we see here that most of our users are in Windows but we do have a significant number of Macintosh users now for web developers this is particularly important when you're using media files video files in particular that use flash have not been able to play historically in Macintosh so it's very important that if you know that a significant percentage of your users are Apple users that your video files and your audio files are going to play appropriately for them so that's something that you're going to be sure to check on your browser is very important also because the website can appear slightly different in the different browsers so if your developers are working in Google Chrome 
but a significant number of your users <clears throat> are viewing the site in Internet Explorer, then you need to verify that the site is presenting properly in that and every other popular browser. Another thing to make note of, you can click here if you want to see the full list of browsers and also the version numbers, but I'm going to quickly scroll to the bottom where we can see under other browsers we see the growing use of mobile browsers in particular the iPhone, Android, LG and Samsung. So even though that's not big percentage at this point it is certainly a growing one that we want to be very aware of. Another very important section is how people are connecting to the site. We can see here that Google is the primary search engine followed by one that happens to be a Chinese search engine followed by Bing, Yahoo, and some others. So that gives us an idea where the traffic's coming from and we can also see what external pages or websites are linking to our site. This is our referring traffic and this is something that we want to watch on a regular basis. Lastly, a very important section of AW Stats is the keywords and the key phrases that people are using to find our site. This can be extremely useful information when we're looking for ideas on how to set words for our Google AdWord campaigns. And just one other item, the HTTP status codes, it can be very helpful to look at the 404 pages just to see if there's any broken pages on our website that we might want to be aware of that needs fixing. As a final reminder, again, I just ask you to look at these numbers here, not so much as absolute values, but as benchmarks. There's many variables that can skew these numbers, so they're much more valuable if we look at them as a benchmark of comparing month-to-month -month growth or month-to-year growth. I think that you'll find them to be very valuable to you when you look at them in that way.